Hello again App Inventors. This is one of my methods to draw an arc on the canvas using the draw point method. You can also use the draw line block. Uh, I find the draw point is just simpler and uh, so I'll start with that. Maybe do the draw line example later. So let's start with the project we're simulating an arc function that might be found in other languages and the arguments required are the center x value, center y, start angle, end angle for the arc and the radius. So I've entered some test values here We'll center it at 160, 160 in X and Y, and we will start at the zero angle, draw it to 90 degrees, and that would be counterclockwise in App Inventor. And the radius will be 100 pixels. So let's draw it. Well, drawing will be faster on your device than on the emulator, of course. And there we have our arc from 0 to 90 degrees with a radius of 100 pixels. Okay, let's see how this works. The All the values, the five values, are used as their text box text values. Um, I created an, a global arc angle variable because that's required by this clock timer and also used in the draw button. So uh, to start when the draw arc button is clicked the contents of the start angle text box is stored in arc angle because that will be our starting angle. Then we start the draw angle clock, we enable it, and this is just a loop. Each time we go through we this timer loops through these blocks, we need to test if we've reached the ending angle. So that's why the if block is here. We test is the global arc angle which we just set less than or equal to the ending angle okay so our starting angle was 0 and our ending angle is 90 so that's true so we then draw using sine and cosine we draw the plot the point which would be on the edge of the radius of the arc so uh, that that's drawn by finding the x location on that arc which is the center x value plus the cosine of the cur the current angle times the radius and that's going to give us the x value same thing is done with the y value we take the current the center y value and subtract the sine of the angle multiplied by the radius of the circle or arc. And each time this cycle is true it plots a new point as you saw it plots it along the arc line and stops once global arc angle where we have one added each time through the loop to the arc angle when that is no longer less than or equal to the ending angle then the timer is disabled so that is one way to do it um, another way as I said would be to use the draw line block and in using the draw line block you can speed up the performance 
because you don't have to put your points so close together like we did here. We have to, every degree we have to plot a point, but when you draw with lines you can leave maybe more space and you could have two or three uh, pixels in two, two or three degrees difference here. Um, so that's it and uh, happy inventoring.